I attempted to crawl away from my own knee. Hey, what's up guys? My name's Kyle, and you may have noticed that I have a table and some other stuff that I don't normally have in my videos. So today I figured I would take a break from kind of the, the science-y stuff, and I would do something kind of a little bit fun that I would enjoy. So I'm going to do a kind of draw my life sort of video, but I don't have some fancy... Who is texting me? I don't have friends. So I decided today that I wanted to do the draw my life kind of video, but I don't have any fancy top down camera, so I apologize for that. Let's go with the last thing that I ate. What was the last thing that I ate? Oh, okay, I remember. So guys, something that I've really been wanting to do with the channel is I've really wanted to do gaming videos. But as of right now, I actually don't have like a good enough camera or any of the software or anything to do it. But as soon as I get that, I will be doing it. And I'd love to know what kind of games I would get that some of you guys might enjoy. Guys, I just realized that I am terrible at drawing. I'm kind of bad at first person shooters, just, just putting it out the eh. I guess I shouldn't say that I'm bad. I'm always kind of in the middle whenever it comes to placing. One of my brothers, though, places in the top on, I swear, every every single first-person game. I also remember being uh, accused of screen peeking against one, one of those same brothers. Whenever he would do that, it would just kind of light a little bit of a fire in me, just to kill him even more in whatever game we were playing. Like, I don't care if we were even playing Mario Kart, like, I'm red-shelling him to no end. But my girlfriend is absolutely insane at drawing. A couple of weeks ago I was over at her house and I challenged her to draw me a picture. So the picture ended up being a chicken on a plane riding around the sun with me and her in a little saddle on its back as it listened to a Walkman. You guys are probably going to look at this and have absolutely no idea what this is at first. I apologize so much for this but this is a coconut cream pie. My girlfriend made this in one of her classes and she gave it to me right after lunch and it was probably the best pie I think I've ever had. The funny thing was it was right before PE and in PE we were doing a 12 minute circuit so you could either do 12 minutes of running or 12 minutes of a certain uh, elliptical or bike or treadmill. Both of my friends got dressed before me left and shut all the lights off as I was getting dressed. I knew that I had to get out there to try to get to the elliptical or something because I didn't really feel like running for 12 minutes after eating that pie. In the dark, I ended up putting on the wrong shorts. Not only were they not my shorts, they were also the pair of shorts that had been sitting in the locker room, like in the corner, for a couple of months that everyone was afraid to touch. And by the time I got out there, all the machines were taken except for the treadmill. So I ended up having to run those 12 minutes, and I wanted to die. Next one I think I'm going to do is going to be the favorite video game character. Just because I think it's funny, and I do actually really enjoy this game, I know who I'm going to pick. Alright, his arms look horribly misshapen. Is he bald? You know what, we're going to give him a luscious mane. Let's make it really tall on the top, let's give him a mullet. Billy Ray Cyrus would be proud chiseled six-pack. Oh no, let's make it an eight-pack. And the pièce de la résistance! The nipples. My setup that I am recording this with is the most embarrassing thing on the planet. It's so hard to draw and talk at the same time. It's kind of cool having a camera. It feels like I'm not alone while I'm doing this. It actually feels like I have someone here to listen to my random thoughts. The camera is a perfect friend. It's nice, it's quiet, it always listens to me and it's always there for me. Dad? Oh my god, this guy's face looks like the embodiment of the scream. Are you ready for this work of art? There he is. He's the guy in the pot from Getting Over It. Does somebody know his name? I don't know his name. Dio Jeans. All right guys, I think for the next one I'm gonna do Draw Your Favorite Meme. Okay, I think I know how I'm gonna do this. If everyone would please share any and all dank memes with me. It's weird to sit and have to draw a phone, especially if it's a phone brand that you used to have and you don't have. Right now, I have a Samsung, and I chose to draw this on an iPhone. <laughs> coffee is cold. 
You guys may have noticed that switching from the last picture to this one, the framing changed a little bit. I actually ran out of space on my iPad, which is what I which is what I use to film these videos. And I had to unplug it, plug it into my PC real fast, and transfer that video over. I also apologize if you hear anything in the background because I do not live alone. I know the way I look and dress screams immense wealth, and uh, I assure you that it is on the way, but I do live at home with my parents. So one of the games that I'm super excited to play on this channel, it's Fortnite, and the new high explosive mode that they put in, I, I love it. I played a couple of matches of it earlier today, and apparently I'm still recovering from the sniper shootout because that's how my style of gameplay is right now. Because that, that mode was just phenomenal. I love it. That's where I actually got my first win. The funny thing about my Fortnite win was compared to all my friends that keep posting on their Snapchat stories about, oh, I just won this game of Fortnite with 20 kills. <laughs> I had one kill, 100% boss. It's the your mom gay, no you me. I know you're probably thinking that this is an art gallery, but it's not. It's a tie dad. It's still five. Let's go with draw my worst fear. The point of this video was to enjoy this, and what I'm drawing, I absolutely hate. I don't know what I'm actually afraid of other than like one or two things. Do you guys ever draw something and like on one side of it, it looks absolutely phenomenal, and then on the other side of it, you try to replicate that same thing, and it just ends up looking like trash? Like, I've seen a lot of girls that do that with their makeup, like, the left half will just be absolutely phenomenal. Then, like, the other half of their face looks like they got hit in the face by a brick. And one of the things that I'm definitely afraid of, that people always question me for or give me weird looks, is grasshoppers. Grasshoppers. I remember one day we were coming back from a football game, and I was sitting there reading a book, and I had my bag between my legs. So as we were sitting there, I felt something on my leg, and I felt like it was just a cord or something from the car, and then I look, and the biggest grasshopper I swear that I've ever seen, like, it looked like the size of a small cat on my knee, was just staring at me. Instead of doing the logical thing and smacking it with the book and killing it, I attempted to crawl away from my own knee. This made my mom laugh so hard because she thinks that anything that has to do with a bug on me is funny. I remember one time when we were getting the mail, she saw that there was a spider, and her first reaction was to throw the mail at me with the spider. I am afraid of spiders. Either God messed up with them as he was making creatures, or he outsourced. But anyway, so back to the grasshopper. So my mother decides to do the kind, adult, motherly thing, and she stops the car after laughing. I get out and attempt to shake the grasshopper off. At first, though, this thing does not want to move. Like, this thing is latched onto my leg like it wants to be bros. But little does it know, I will kill it with fire at the first opportunity. So after shaking it for a little bit, it finally comes off. As it comes off, it kind of flies back into the car somewhere around my football bag. So I very gingerly go to pick up the bag and the thing flies straight at my face. I don't know if you've ever had a grasshopper fly at your face, but if you're afraid of them, it looks like a bullet is coming at you and you're seeing the white light at the end of the tunnel. I can't even explain to you guys the amount of fear that I felt in my heart when that thing came at my face, okay? That thing might as well have been an eagle with its talons open. To me, I was about to die. I decide it would be a good idea to both panic and duck. As I do this, I hit my head on the car door, and as I sit there, I'm waiting and anticipating that some winged spawn of the devil is going to come eat my face off. It is a spider. I remember one time I was sitting on a porch. I go to pull out my phone and I look down, and the biggest banana spider is just chilling right on my chest. So my reaction to having this spider on my chest was to flick it off, okay? Well, my brother was sitting a couple of feet next to me, and it ended up getting on him, and for a few seconds, we played a game of hot potato with a big banana spider. I think I'm going to do my favorite TV show character. 
This one I want to use a reference. If I don't talk much on this one, this one really is because I am focused. This feels so much like cheating. Put his mouth in the wrong spot. All right, guys, I am so excited to show you this, but first let's get some outlining done. That is the wrong one. It's stupid. It's funny, since I'm just starting out, all of this is still kind of really new to me. And the fact that I got one comment on my second video made my entire day. We're going to have to make do with white in some spots. I'm gonna make his shoes just dark with the pencil. This isn't the color that they actually are, but I don't have a brown to properly do the shoes. Mr. Poopy Butthole from Rick and Morty. He's just such a funny little tidbit in the show. He, he's that kind of character that only appeared for one episode. Alright guys, I think that's about it for this video. Um, if you liked it, let me know in the comment section down below. As always, subscribe and ring that bell if you want to hear more from me. And let me know if you prefer this style of video over the last two that I posted. I hope that you guys have a good day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later!